Hi friends, wishing you a great day. Today we're diving into a mind-blowing topic. How big is the universe? If someone came up to me and asked, hey, how vast is this universe? My answer would be simple. It's so huge, you can't even wrap your head around it. And if you think you've got a guess about its size, trust me, it's way, way bigger than that. It's so enormous that we can barely imagine it. But don't worry, we're going to break it down step by step, explore it together, and try to make sense of this cosmic wonder. So, I invite you to stick around as we journey through the awe-inspiring universe, all the way to the final seconds of this special video. Let's explore this fascinating world together. Let's kick things off right here on Earth. Our planet, it's way bigger than you might think. Picture this, if you hopped in a car and drove around the Earth at 60 miles per hour, it'd take you over 10 days to complete the trip. Now, if you swapped the car for a plane, you could do it in about six days. That's how massive our little home is. Next up, let's zoom out to the closest object to Earth, the Moon. The distance from Earth to the Moon is about 238,000 miles. If you drove that distance in a car at 60 miles per hour, it'd take you around six months to get there. Crazy, right? And yet, humans have actually traveled that distance in real life through space exploration. That's the farthest we've gone so far. Now, let's widen our view to the solar system. Imagine comparing the planets side by side. If we showed them to scale, you'd see just how tiny Earth is compared to the others. For example, if we put the sun in the picture, you could fit about a million Earths inside it. That's how massive the sun is. The average distance from Earth to the sun is about 93 million miles. We call this an astronomical unit in space terms. If you drove a car at 60 miles per hour to the sun, it'd take you around 177 years to get there. In a plane, about 19 years. Mind-blowing, huh? Now, let's push further out to Neptune, the farthest planet in our solar system. At the same 60 miles per hour in a car, it'd take you roughly 5,200 years to reach Neptune. In a plane, about 600 years. There's no coming back from that trip. These numbers should give you a rough idea of just how gigantic our solar system is. But hold on, we're just getting started. Let's put this into perspective. Imagine the solar system as a football field. The sun would be a ball about an inch wide sitting at the goal line. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars? They'd be like tiny grains, smaller than the tip of a ballpoint pen, scattered within a few yards of the sun. Then you've got the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Even these massive planets wouldn't be bigger than, say, a bicycle ball on this football field. But here's the kicker. They're spread out way farther. If the field is 100 yards long, Mercury's at one yard, Venus at two, Earth at five, Mars at nine, Jupiter at 27, Saturn at 32, Uranus at 64, and Neptune's chilling at the 100 yard mark. This rough scale should help you picture just how vast our solar system is and we haven't even left our cosmic neighborhood yet. Now let's talk about something even wilder. The farthest human-made object, the Voyager 1 spacecraft, launched in 1977, has been traveling for over 45 years. It's moving at about 38,000 miles per hour and has gone roughly 14 billion miles from Earth. It officially left our solar system in August 2012. That's insane. To measure these insane distances, we use light years. The distance light travels in a year. Light moves at 186,282 miles per second. For reference, it takes light just over a second to get from the moon to Earth, about eight minutes from the sun to Earth, and around four hours to reach Neptune. A single light year? That's about six trillion miles. Even with that, Voyager 1 has only traveled less than a light day's distance barely a blip in the grand scheme. Compared to our galaxy, the Milky Way, our solar system is microscopic. The closest star to us, Proxima Centauri, is 4.2 light years away, about 25 trillion miles. You could fit 4,450 solar systems in that space. Driving there at 60 miles per hour would take 47 million years. In a plane, 5 million years. 
Even Voyager 1 would need 73,000 years to get there. Now, Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky, is about eight light years away. And if we zoom out further, a star like Betelgeuse, 1,000 times bigger than our sun, is 645 light years away. These distances are unreal. Our Milky Way has a diameter of about 120,000 light years and contains around 100 billion stars, many with their own planets. If our solar system were a 10 rupee coin, the Milky Way would be the size of North America. Let's go That's big. how small we are. The Andromeda Galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor, is 2.5 million light years away. Beyond that, within 110 million light years, we can see about 20,000 galaxies, each with billions of stars and planets. Keep zooming out and you'll find clusters of millions of galaxies. The observable universe, the part we can study, stretches 93 billion light years across. That's from one end to the other, and it'd take light 15 times the age of Earth to cross it. And yet, this is just a tiny fraction of the total universe. We don't even know where it ends. So what's the takeaway? Honestly, we know almost nothing about the universe. We haven't found solid proof of life beyond Earth. Theoretically, there could be millions of habitable planets out there, but we haven't even fully explored our own moon yet. If the universe were a human body, our solar system would be like a single atom. Our knowledge, a grain of sand. Maybe some things, like finding the edge of the universe, aren't worth overthinking. There's no point in stressing over what we can't grasp. Thanks for joining me on this cosmic ride. What do you think about the universe's size? Drop your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-bending adventures. See you next time.